it's a great thing to think that it's gonna live 120 years of hopefully a very, very clean river for everyone. So at the moment, uh, we're in the section of tunnel between Chambers Wharf and Blackfriars. We are pretty much one kilometer away from Chambers Wharf, from their shaft. We are currently with the second island in operation, advancing around 25 meters a day. The purpose of the second island in is to provide the right durability conditions to the tunnel in order to last for over 120 years. The concrete is taken by lorries into our 30 meter diameter shaft and is discharged down by gravity into our concrete remixers. At the moving gantry, the concrete is discharged from the wagons into the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt drives it into a pump. The pump then pumps the concrete into two shutters, which are pretty much the, the stars of the operation, and the shutters are the ones that cast the concrete. It starts to fill up the shutter in about five, six hours, and the pipe gets pretty much installed into the crown ports, and the concrete is pumped in order to make sure that the shutter is properly filled. At the moment, we are pretty much lowering the people down with a, a man rider cage. That makes it a, more interesting in terms of going down because you can see pretty much the whole shaft at some point underneath your, your feet uh, and it has also created uh, more activity in the shaft because of the cranes coming in and out. I started in this project uh, pretty much five years ago. For me it's a pleasure to leave a footprint let's say in history. It's true that the tunnel won't be seen at all uh, after a few years because it will become the new super sewer of London. It's also a great thing to think that it's going to live 120 years of hopefully a very, very clean river for everyone. So that's what people are actually going to be able to see. And for me, it's the best result you can ever have.